Hey guys, Tennessee Frank here, coming to you with a, uh, another quick look at another Linux distro. Of course, like always, this is going to have your KDE desktop, um, so it should look familiar to you guys by now. Um, the whole deal, though, is uh, this is Arco Linux, and it is a B version. They have like three different versions, um, but this is a B, and it has the KDE desktop. Um, but I, I do have it set up pretty much like I set things up. This is a full version, and it has a ton of software in it. Um, there is a minimal version you can install, which I downloaded. I'm going to take a look at it, too. But uh, you can see there is just about anything and everything that you want Um the only thing I've had to install so far was Audacity. It had Simple Screen Recorder out of the box. It had Caden Live out of the box. Um, pretty much everything that you can think of is, is in this distro. It had Chromium out of the box, Conqueror out of the box, Firefox. So you got several different browser options. Um, you got mail programs, you got cheap parted out of the box, htops installed, uh, Inkscape is there. There's so, so much software here, there's stuff I don't even know what it is. Here's our, our menu under K, which is your KDE stuff. I think they have every package KDE makes in this thing. Um, there's stuff here I have never even heard of. It has so many different uh, things. But it's got the uh, KDE Partition Manager. Like I said, Caden Live is here. Um, I'm pretty sure if we look, we'll see Krita. Let's see if Krita is in here. K-R-I-T-A, Krita. I'll bet you a dollar it's here. We just got to look for it. Of course, you got Console. Um, let's see, KSIS guards there, QRS, Krita. I don't see Krita. I am shocked. I thought it had about every K there was in here, but, um, I did install LibreOffice also. Um, that wasn't in here. At least I don't remember it being in here, but I did install it. I always run LibreOffice. Um, it's even got stuff like Plank, if you want to put a dock on here, which I don't know why you'd want to. Um, it's got all the, the cute stuff. I mean, it's got a ton of software. Uh, I, I, I've not seen a distro this loaded down. And a lot of this stuff I would not use. Um, I did install Yakuake for my drop-down terminal. But, I mean, if we go here to games, let me click on games. Look at all these games they give you right out of the box. I mean, there is a ton of games here right out of the box. Um, we can hit graphics. You can see there's a lot of different graphics programs internet like i said you got firefox chromium conqueror there's a uh, like two or three different mail programs to do your your mail vivaldi that's another one i've never used um that's a, a browser of some kind multimedia here's your multimedia they have a k3b for burning discs and uh, you get vlc out of the box i mean it's just it's it's got anything and everything you'd ever want. Um, of course, I did set this up already. Uh, let me open my home folder. I have my my Boof, B-U-U-F, Boof icons, which I think they look really cool. 
um, I got rid of like the public and the the, the uh, 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 templates folders. I I don't use them, so I go ahead and get rid of them. Got it set up so we have delete enabled. Um, the only issue I have had is um, when I log out and log back in, it's not holding my uh, my resolution, my desktop resolution or screen resolution. Um, I got it set at 1600 by 9 and I don't know if it's a virtual box thing. I'm going to assume it's a virtual box kind of deal. Um, that's something I didn't see in here. Let's look and see if we got virtual box. Mm, I don't see virtual box in here. So that would be something that we would have to install. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not holding the settings. It reverts back to to 800 by 600 um, but like I said that's probably a virtual box issue not an actual uh, distro issue but yeah it's uh, Acro Linux and it's the D with the KDE desktop they have an Acro Linux that has like XFCE um, and let me see if let me see if we can uh, I think I set Firefox up let me see if we can pull up their website so I can show you guys a little bit more about this. Of course, uh, while we're pulling this up, this is based on Arch Linux. So it is a rolling release. Um, let's go ahead. A-C-R-O. A-C-R-O. Acro Linux. And we'll go to their web page. Acro Linux.com. And let's go ahead and... We'll go ahead and allow my no script. And of course, then once you allow some, there's always more you gotta allow. Let me kick that one in. Let's see if it's gonna let everything do its thing here. Acro Linux. This does not look like the right website. Let me check a different website. Um, let's see. Acro. Let's go to the where it says additions. I know that's going to be the right website, but that'll that'll take us to their additions. Um, and maybe I can show you a little bit about that. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't care about that. Let's go ahead and kick on my no script since I trust this page. But yeah, it talks about, um, Right here, there are uh, three major additions. You have the Acro Linux ISO, which gives you three desktops, which will basically be XFCE, um, i3, and I forget the third one. I don't know if it'll tell you here. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to give you three basic desktops, which your your main one would be XFCE. There's an Acro Linux D, which is minimal, no desktop, which you'll have to figure out how to go in terminal and install your desktop. And then they do have Acro Linux B, which is where I went to. Um, you get one desktop. But you get to choose your desktop. And let me see if we can go over. Find about downloads. Here we go. Download. See if we can get to the download page. And uh, it's all going to be coming from SourceForge. So uh, you'll go to SourceForge to do your downloads. Let's go ahead and scroll on down. And like I said, I, I didn't want to do the XFCE with the other two desktops, and I didn't want the minimal D where I got to install my own. So I went here to B. That's going to pull up your source forge, um, which we'll go ahead and let's check this for no script so we can be able to do stuff. And here you will see you have. Um, quite a few different desktop environments you can go with. You go with an awesome, you can go with a BSPWN, 
which I'm not familiar with either of those. There's Budgie, which I've looked at in other distros. I really don't care for it that much. Um, Cinnamon. Cinnamon is not that bad. Um, if you want something kind of Windows-like, there's Deepin. There's Gnome. They have i3, LXQT, Mate. <coughs> Excuse me. Openbox, Plasma, which is the one I did. Qtile, which I've never seen. That's a new one to me. XFCE, and then Xmodenad. Um, so like I say, if you go here to Plasma, which is the one I did, you can see, uh, let's see if I can make this bigger. Yeah, we'll make her a little bigger. Uh, you can see you have uh, your, your 1907.9. These are all going to be your newest. These are older from here on down, but your newer versions are going to be these four here. You have Plasma. That's going to be full. That's the one I downloaded that we're looking at. It has anything and everything. There's a Minimal, which I've also downloaded. I want to look at it. There's a Minimal with a long-term support kernel. And then there's the Full with a long-term support kernel. And you can see all these are still fairly large. I mean, the, the smallest, the Minimal here, is still 2.1 gig. So uh, they're, they're not small ISOs by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but, you know, you, you do get pretty much everything you need. Um, when you boot in, you're going to boot into an XFCE desktop. And uh, from there, you'll do your install. Then once the install is complete, when you boot in, then you'll get your actual desktop. Um, they keep it kind of minimal for, for the install, which is something I kind of like. Um, but you see, it's this is your you know your basic plasma. It's going to be your plasma five uh, five dot what? I have no idea. Let me see. I know uh, Caden Live is your newer version. Um, I did do the Akuke. When you uh, when you boot into your terminal for first time, you'll get this little. Deal. I think that looks really nice that they added that in there. It tells you the OS, the kernel you have, which is 5.2.5. So it's a very new kernel. Um, there's our shell, Bash 5. KDE, um, Oxygen theme here, Breeze. Boof is going to be the icon set. Terminal, of course, YAK, Yakuik. Um, it's Intel i5 and VirtualBox, yada yada. Um, but uh, it, it just it's it's a really cool distribution so far. I'm gonna run it a little while longer in VirtualBox and really kind of test it out. Um, but if you're looking for a rolling release, something you install once and done, and don't have to reinstall in three to five years, uh, this would not be a bad way to go. It's gonna give you your basic Arch. Uh, base to build on with the KDE desktop which I like or you saw there's a bunch of other desktops um, a lot of which I don't know much about um, I may need to check into them but uh, it would be something that uh, I I think if you watch your uh, watch your updates it would be reasonably stable I've ran arch based systems in the past they're not as bad as a lot of people say. Uh, they are reasonably stable. Debian is going to be more stable, granted. But you're also going to generally get older packages. So if you want something that's you know more bleeding edge with the newest packages, newest kernel, and everything, uh, you might want to give Arco Linux and go with one of the, uh, the B versions a try where you pick your desktop and uh, see if it might work for you but yeah I just I wanted to give you this real quick look around of course uh, they did give you uh, before we close they did give you a pretty good uh, choice of wallpaper I've installed a, a few other ones but we can go take a quick look here you can see some of the wallpapers some of them are kinda cool I mean that one's not too bad well, that looks kind of neat with the uh, fishing boats. Let's see what else they have here, real quick. 
Went and scroll down through them. Um, I, like I said, I added a couple different ones. Um, I added this one. I added this one. This is one that I really kind of like. Go ahead and get it going. That looks like some places out here in Arizona, uh, believe it or not. We got a lot of places that look like that, rock formations. Although, I mean, it could be anywhere around the world. But, um, yeah, it's, it looks like down here in Arizona somewhere. But, yeah, just a real quick look. Arco Lennox, uh, one of the B versions. This is the Plasma. That's the uh, KDE5 Plasma desktop. And uh, go ahead, check this out. This is probably going to be more or less one of my gold nugget distros. I don't think it's going to be a turd. Um, I mean, it's built on a good firm foundation, Arch Linux. Uh, it's got KDE Plasma 5, which is a good solid desktop to run. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. You guys have an awesome day. Tennessee Frank out of here.